Hey folks, I got a tip for you. It is a quick tip, but it is one that could save you from throwing out a flight controller that is acting like it has a bad gyro. Now this tip specifically Now this tip specifically applies if you have one of these flight controllers with dual gyros. And I don't mean the kind of flight controllers that you saw where you could select one of two gyros. There are flight controllers out there that maybe they have an MPU 6000 and an ICM 60802 or something gyro, and you can pick one or the other. We're talking about flight controllers like, well, the iFlight flight controllers are one of the ones that does it. Like on all the iFlight flight controllers, there are two gyro chips and they do a thing called sensor fusion, where they average the data out between the two uh, gyros to try to get better results. But here's the problem. If one of the gyros goes bad, then half the data that's going into the averaging is screwed up and the quad will act like it's got a bad gyro. What are the signs of a bad gyro? Number one sign of a bad gyro is twitching. Just like the, you'll be flying just in a straight line. It'll kind of go. Ding, 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 ding. There are other signs of a bad gyro too, including up to and including the quadcopter just wanting to fly away and losing control. If you have one of these dual gyro flight controllers and you think you have a bad gyro, you can actually turn one of the gyros off. Instead of using both the gyros, you just use one or just use the other. And by getting rid of the bad gyro, you can actually completely redeem a flight controller that is acting like you would, you would otherwise have to replace it. So here we are in Betaflight. I've plugged in a flight controller. And what I'm going to do is go to the configuration tab and here yeah he right here okay i found it right here <laughs> um the parameter is called gyro to use in the cli and that's what i was looking for that's why i was, couldn't find it at first this parameter tells the flight controller which gyro and accelerometer to use and if you see both here then you have the option to do this you can just change it from both to first and then save and reboot and at that point if your quadcopter starts flying good then you're fine on the other hand if you do that and you still have the problem change it to second maybe the first one was the one that was bad if you try first and you try second and that doesn't fix it then you may still have a bad flight controller that needs replacing but a lot of times this will fix the problem it almost seems like on these dual gyro boards gyros go bad more often than they did when we had single gyro boards. I'm not really sure if that's true. Maybe it's just that they're more popular or maybe it's just that if you have two, Oh, that's scientific. If you have two gyros per flight controller and the defect rate is the same, you will have twice as many flight controllers with bad gyros because there's two gyros. So that's twice as many gyros to go bad. Hmm, very interesting. Anyway, if you do have a dual gyro flight controller and it's acting like it has a bad gyro, try this out. It doesn't cost you anything to try it out. And in many, many cases, it fixes the problem. Hope that's helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Happy flying. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or like just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.